Hi and hello friends, welcome to my channel Indian Mom Lifestyle. So today I've come up with a video to show you how to make sambar. So I've taken one cup of thor dal and soaked them in plenty of water for one hour. And I've taken a tamarind, uh, lemon sized tamarind and again I've soaked in uh, plenty of water. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, put the thor dal uh, with half a teaspoon of asafoetida and one teaspoon of oil with a plenty of water and give it for about four to five whistle in the medium flame meanwhile i'm going to take a flat kadai in that i'm going to add in about two tablespoon of oil so i'm using refined oil here and again one teaspoon of ghee to it which gives a nice flavor. So let the ghee melt. So I'm going to add in the mustard seeds. Let them pop and followed by the urad dal. And then dry red chilies. So the orad dal turns its color to brown. So now I'm going to add in the dry red chilies. So I'm using the Kashmiri red chili and followed by the curry leaves. Keep the flame on medium. And then I'm going to add in the small onions so the small onions gives a nice flavor to the sambar and then followed by one sliced up tomatoes so i'm going to give it a nice stir and i'm going to cook it for two minutes with the lid closed so after three minutes the tomatoes are nicely squashed. As you can see, they are nice and tender now. Just giving it a little stir. And then I'm going to add in the veggies. So I've taken two veggies here, carrots and beans. It's up to your choice. You can use drumstick, brinjal, pumpkin, so each, everything gives a nice flavor to the sambar. So today I've taken carrots and beans and sliced them into fine pieces. And I've added it and given a nice stir. And I'm going to add in the dry masalas starting off from turmeric powder, half a teaspoon and Kashmiri chili powder, two teaspoon. And then cumin powder, one teaspoon. And then sambar masala powder, one teaspoon. So if you like to watch some how to make sambar powder, please comment me below. I would like to make video on them. So I make my sambar powder at home and followed by half a teaspoon of paper powder. Make sure to keep the flame on medium and give it a nice stir until the masalas are nicely combined into the veggies. And I'm going to close the lid for, and cook it for 2 minutes. Make sure to keep the flame on medium. So after 2 minutes, the masalas are well combined with the veggies. To, this, to that, I'm going to add in the tamarind juice. This is about a cup of tamarind juice which I have stoked already. So I am going to give it a nice stir. And I am going to cook it with the lid closed until the veggies are 80% cooked. So after 10 minutes the veggies are 80% cooked on a medium flame. So now it's time to add in the thurad dal cooked turad dal 
and the required salt for the sambar. So add salt for your taste and then followed by the turad dal. Give it a nice mix and check it for seasoning as well. If you want to add salt, you can add it at this point. So I have given a nice stir until all the veggies and the masalas are really well combined. And again, I am going to cook it for another 5 minutes with a little bit of coriander leaves. So which gives a nice flavor to the sambar. So I am going to close the lid and cook it for 5 minutes or until the veggies are perfectly cooked. So now the sambar is absolutely ready after 5 minutes. The aroma is fantastic. So if you like my video, please click on that like button and please do subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next videos. Until then, stay happy.